How's it going everybody? Dato Doi here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video and this one's actually super exciting because we have a lot of new cooler footage to take a look at and to break down for you all. Now of course because I'm not actually one of the people up there at Bandai I have to take footage from other places so you're going to see footage from like Rhyme Style and just the official Bandai Twitter. Uh, so obviously go follow both of those accounts. Rhyme Style does a lot of crazy good videos and if you want to see Cooler more in action you should definitely check his videos out as well. Like I said, this video is going to be relatively small in scope. We're just going to talk about Cooler and how some of his mechanics are going to work out for him at a higher level. Really quick at the beginning of this video though, I do want to say that Bandai did confirm that Cooler is going to release alongside another fighter. Uh, obviously most of us know that this is probably going to be uh, Android 17. Uh, they haven't confirmed who it is yet, they just confirmed that he is coming alongside another character. So a lot of the speculation that they were just changing up the way that they wanted to promote their DLC was probably correct. Uh, because of this, we're going to get some more spread out info over a longer period of time, which I'm actually super excited about. But anyway, enough of that, let's just finally jump straight into Cooler. So let's start with something everybody wants to know. No, Cooler does not have a low hitting 2L. That is going to seriously hurt him. But of course, not having a 2L doesn't instantly mean that you're not going to ever see some competitive play. Cooler also has a very long reaching, I believe it's his down medium, that does hit low that you can get some nice confirms off of. Uh, think of it like Dormammu spikes in a way only it doesn't continuously hit, it's only one hit from footage I've seen. Still though, that has some insane potential to catch people off guard, especially in an online environment. Another one of the more interesting things that I've personally seen with Cooler so far is his level 3. Now we did cover before in a Shonen Jump video that Cooler's level 3 would have two different properties, whether he's in the air or on the ground. The wording of it was very awkward though, but in practice it works like this. On the ground, Cooler's level 3 will take 3 bars, and Cooler will stand up straight with an almost hit-like energy field around him. If the opponent it hits Cooler with anything during this time, it will instantly become a counter and Cooler will hit the opponent with his level 3. This is going to be a super useful tool in like those end game clutch scenarios. People are going to be very scared of throwing out even Key Blast against Cooler, which I think has a lot of strong potential for Cooler to finish out some games with. When you're in the air, however, Cooler's level 3 works a little bit differently. This is great because otherwise you wouldn't be able to combo into it at all in the air. But yeah, Cooler's level 3 basically becomes a command throw. I'm not sure if it goes through blocks. I, I didn't get the chance to see any of that. But from what I've seen, it looks pretty easy to convert into, and it works like a standard level 3 from there. One thing that isn't too clear for me on Cooler's level 3 is how much it tracks after you get hit by a beam or a key blast. So in Rhyme Style's video, we can see that Super Saiyan Goku throws a standing key blast, Rhyme counters it, and lands the level 3. But how would this work if Goku was, let's say, approaching Rhyme Style from the air, and he opted to throw that downward key blast? Would Cooler's level 3 be a guaranteed hit either way, or is there some scenarios where Cooler's level 3 counter can just flat out whiff? If there is, I don't think the counter will be all too useful. Obviously, it'll still have his niche uses but I don't think it'll be as clutch as, let's say, a move that is always guaranteed to hit. Moving on, Cooler actually has a rising knee. As of now, it is not known whether or not it acts like a invincible wake-up option, like Vegeta or Gohan's uppercut, for example, uh, but I don't see why it wouldn't act like that. It is also Cooler's assist, which does implicate to me that it might have invincibility properties like Gohan. Either way, though, I'm sure there are going to be a couple of people disappointed that his assist is just a knee. When Cooler is out on the field, though, he can EX the knee, and he does have a follow-up attack where he swings his arm down. And that move is also interesting because you can also EX that move after an EX knee, so you can spend two bars if you want to on this combo. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but you might want to use it if you could finish off a character. If you do opt to go for this option, Cooler will follow through with that arm swing with two dive kicks. Cooler has access to two level ones, both of which are pretty standard. One we see that he frames you into a wall and then puts you in the ground, and the other is actually one of Frieza's level 3s, but I guess with age comes better meter experience because Cooler just opts to keep it to a one bar move. Some small but also interesting stuff that Cooler can do is that his down heavy actually moves him forward a little bit, and he also has a 3H move, so if you hold it diagonal forward and then click your heavy move, Cooler will go a long distance forward and he can actually he actually has full invincibility to beams during this move. Uh, which is a nice callback and it also might have some usability uh, if you're going up against a beam heavy team. Other than that though, that's really all of the interesting stuff I could spot for Cooler with all of this new gameplay. He looks like he's actually going to be pretty good all things considered. He doesn't have that low hitting 2L, but I think there is enough possibility for Cooler to actually see a decent amount of play. Of course, that's really going to come down to what kind of cheap stuff people can find for him. He does have his light auto combo and his Y auto combo, both of which really don't look too usable in a sort of a loop fashion. 
Uh, but who knows, maybe something can be found for him with that light auto combo. Either way, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Let me know your thoughts on Cooler down below in the comment section. I'll be down there as always. While you're down there, if you like this video and want to see more videos like this from the channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I'm Dr. Doya. I'll see you in the next video.